So I said this on the podcast yesterday with Kyle, but Taco Bell, they just like, they've got a boardroom of people that just know how to knock it out of the park with what there's on their menu. $2, this is the grilled chicken chipotle burrito. Make sure you get no tomatoes because sometimes the tomatoes like, well, they're just not like, to, if you like tomatoes, I would still recommend getting no tomatoes, but like, for two bucks, you get grilled chicken. Their lettuce is just on point. It's like some sauce that kind of tastes like Caesar-y, but chipotle -y. And then they have like these little crunchy, these guys, game changer, all for two bucks. These are like the little Frito-y, like crunchy, so for two bucks, you're getting all of this. And then if you want to be smart, Taco Bell has the best ooh, um, wild cherry Pepsi. Make sure you take advantage of their wild cherry Pepsi. It's so good. So this guy here. So that's one down. I usually just get one, maybe like two soft um, tacos to go with it, but I got two today. I don't know why, I just got two. So I have another one that I'll go through and eat, but typically I, typically I would advise just get one, get like two soft tacos to go, go with it, and then get like a medium or small wild cherry Pepsi from Taco Bell, so good. But shout out to Taco Bell. I'm gonna have the second one now. It's the Chipotle grilled chicken burrito get no tomatoes you could thank me later very good okay last but not least i have my second taco i had to run into target so i know i said wild pepsi from taco bell i didn't get it this time because i knew it was going to target and i got a cherry coke which is the exact opposite but it like checks off the same type of taste boxes so i'm gonna wet my palate quick Hit a little refresh button. Then, I'll lock in on number two here. So, just looks pretty. Mm. I'll turn my face. So the crunch is crunching good. If you hear that crunch in the first bite, you know Taco Bell does it right. It's like they heavy lift the crunch towards the top of the Chipotle, whatever burrito thing it's called. And they just know like where to put the crunch. You see, uh, the crunch is heavy on the top. There's cheese in there that's like splattering around your mouth and tastes good. So because I normally don't get two, I'm gonna go to the drink early on this one because usually the soft taco breaks up the taste a little bit. But when you have like two in a row, it's kind of a lot. So the drink just like meshes it up. It starts new each time. It's like a reset button. Now, As you work your way down the burrito, you start getting into the goods. You get into the sauces, the chicken, the chips, the cheese is all blended together in the middle. That's where like the heart of everything's at. That's where everything's living. So really embrace the middle. You keep going. The lettuce is a nice little undertaking. I think after this one, I might go back to the soda. And here's a tip. Use the soda as like a way to wash down the extra stuff in your mouth. So have some soda while there's still stuff in your mouth? Yes. No comments from the peanut gallery, okay? <laughs> 
This looks like they try to sneak in a tomato a little bit, unless that's a chip. Well, again, as you work your way down, you'll get all the chicken towards the bottom. That's pretty much it. It's simple. I'll just eat the rest of this, crumple it up, throw it away. And you have a nice little, like, healthy lunch. Healthy? Peanut gallery. Last but not least, always savor that last bite. You want to make sure that you, like, feel good when you can bite that last bite. So, do one more roof up. Oh. Two's a lot of food, I'm not gonna lie. One with two, one with maybe one or two soft tacos is probably the route to go. Two of these things is a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. That's it. As Molly says, peace out.